It's your boy back again, Mike H, with another one for your boy. <clears throat> man, it is hot out here in Texas, man. All week it's been over 100 degrees. I don't know about everywhere else, but Jesus Christ. If I tell you one thing, I don't tell you another, brother. But, man, uh, so your boy been on the journey, man. Your boy been on a journey. Trying to make myself better, trying to make my mind stronger. Um, recently, man, I did something that... Uh, I ain't gonna speak on just too just too soon. I wanna make some make some moves before I speak on that. Less kind of quick, motherfuckers. You understand? Fuck it. But uh, your boy been on the journey, man. I'm trying to make myself better. I I, been, uh, I went to this place because uh, it's something I wanted to do a long time ago, but I didn't have a chance to do because life situation. And if, if you know me, you probably can hint at what I'm talking about, or you probably can think what I'm hitting at. That's the question. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this here. Look at this here. I got it. Look at it. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, uh, we're going to have to walk with the quicker glasses today. I don't know why it's coming out like that. But uh, don't give two shits. So, uh, back to what I was saying, man. I had to, uh, oh, I went to this place uh, just to check my options. You know what I'm saying? I came to a realization of a whole bunch of things. Is, uh, some things have been slowing me down. I don't want to speak on too much. Uh, I don't put my business out there, but some things have been slowing me down that I thought uh, helped ease my mind. Hint, hint. Uh, but it turns out it's been slowing me down, and it's kind of it kind of put limits on who I am and what I want to do. So I, I learned to let a lot of things go, and uh, been a week strong, man. So y'all pray for your boy. Keep your head for pray for your boy. Keep my goddamn head up. But uh, I think uh, I think if everything works out, man, it might be it might be good for me. But that's not the reason I want to make this video. So that was a little tangent. But uh, I cut out all everything. I don't drink nothing but water now. You know, uh, besides I've been drinking uh, tea, some uh, yogi tea. But as many people know, on tea I drink it's says sweet tea, light ice. But now you know what I'm saying. I'm, I don't even drink. Uh, juice. I just drink water and uh, uh, tea. Uh, that damn. I'm gonna take these glasses off, y'all. I know. I know. I was looking good. I know y'all want me to keep the glasses on, man. But I'm gonna take the glasses off. They, they distracted me. But but drinking tea, trying to keep my my mind strong, trying to keep everything strong, man. Trying to stay healthy and stuff like that. Uh, since I'm on that note, uh, I woke up at uh four thirty today, and I know that's early, man. Usually. I wake up early, but I don't get nothing done. What I call early is like, like if I wake up at four thirty, because I gotta be at work at a certain point. Like uh, I travel to Fort Worth, and anybody who lives in the Dallas area knows that uh, it says forty six minutes from Dallas to Fort Worth, but it can take way longer than that, depending on traffic. So if I wake up at four thirty, it takes me that much time to go to Fort Worth, then be able to get on site and be there earlier than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. I woke up at 4.30 today, and I was like, man, one thing that's been on my mind to do is to go running. And I used to run all the time, not no fucking cross country, nothing like that, but I I, I do my little thug this <laughs> but, uh, so today I ran, and, uh, it was freeing, man. It's one of the most freeing things I did in a long time, especially when I had the time. Like, waking up early in the morning gives me enough time to... I'm just running down what I did today. I woke up, 4.30, uh, ran for a long time, for like 30 minutes, uh, 15 minutes there, 15 minutes back, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't really know the kilometers or the miles because I, wasn't really, I didn't have my my watch on, nothing like that. And what I mean, my fossil watch, my Q-Link, so it let me know how many miles and stuff I would walk and run a day. So I ain't had that with me. So. I know it took me about 30 minutes, 32 minutes, you know what I'm saying, running and walking, off and on. I want to be able to get to the point where I can run straight all the way there, all the way back, but, you know, baby steps, motorcycles, baby steps. But, so I woke up at 4.30, went for a run, came back, uh, made me three pieces of toast with some uh, honey on it, killed that, watched some, uh, I studied some arithmetic and reasoning, another hint, hint, uh, Math, you know what I'm saying? I'm struggling with my math. I mean, I mean, it's school right now. I'm doing calculus, but uh, that anybody out there who knows calculus and want to uh, tutor your boy for free, cause I ain't paying you nothing. 
hit me up, man. I can use the help. But, uh, study my math, watch some inspirational videos, listen to Denzel on his path and stuff like that. Matthew McConaughey. Just, you know what I'm saying? Anything that's positive, I just try to get put it in my uh, head for the day. And, uh, it seems to be working, man. But, the main thing is, I'm trying to better myself. I'm taking steps, no matter what it is, I'm taking steps to try to better myself. And I think we all should do that. Another thing, I, I mentioned that because, like I said in my last video, I had uh, a colleague or a friend, whatever you want to call him, saying that he wasted his, he don't have enough time to do a lot of stuff. He's just working for home. <sighs> Excuse me, like I said, been up 4.30. I guess it's time for me to take another uh, V8 energy drink. Anyway, uh, when you wake up that early, you got a lot of time. It takes like, it took me, it took like what, three and a half hours for the sun to come up. So before the sun came up, I already ran, studied for hours, uh, made breakfast. I ended up cooking twice. I made toast, honey, and then I waited like an hour and a half. Then I made me some T-bone steak and eggs, man. I went to the farmer's market yesterday, man, and got me some of that fresh cut, fresh cut, cut beef. You know what I'm saying? And uh, some eggs, some farm-raised eggs. Uh, and water with me some T-bone steak and eggs, man. Holla at your boy. If you don't know, now you know. But I got to do my other video, man. Oh, uh, if you're watching this, go ahead, like, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on, man. Show your boy some love. Show me you appreciate the videos. And uh, got more to come. But back on to the self-motivation. Uh, I went to Bars and Noble yesterday also and picked up a couple things, man. Here's one of the books. I picked up The Organized Mind. Uh, I haven't did too much research on this book. I just happened to stop in Barnes & Noble and then wound up in the, what they call, self-empowerment self section or self-growth section, whatever it is. And I looked at the back of the book before I looked at the front of the book, seeing what it said. Then I realized it was a uh, New York Times bestseller, so I'm like, it can't be that bad. So I only got to page six on the introduction, man. Boy, I've been tired. But trying to really reschedule myself to do things and messing up my sleep schedule so I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the point where I wake up early and go to sleep uh early which is like 10 o'clock 9 45 something like that which some people call early because I used to be a night owl and then wake up at like 4 35 o'clock and try to keep that going especially with the stuff that's come uh I plan on doing it's gonna be requiring me to wake up early so y'all stick with your boy on this journey and I'm gonna let y'all know what's going on but the second book I picked up is The Nature of the Personal Reality. And I'm a firm believer is in reality is what you make it. Because I used to be the same guy who was talking about, I feel like, uh, part of my environment. Um, I'm not stuck where I'm at, but it'd be years to take, it'd be years before I get, uh, excuse me, it'd be years before I get out of the situation I am. And then a couple of years ago, I slowly realized that through watching YouTube videos and, and just meditation and shit like that, that I make my own, I'm a creator of my own destiny. And no one can, uh, there's, no, there's no traumatic experience or nothing that, that, like that that I need to happen in my life for me to realize I need to make a change. So, with that being said, man, I start working on my credit, using my income taxes to benefit myself rather than just blow it. I ain't never really blow it, but I used to buy things that depreciate as soon as I buy it or has no work value or worth as soon as I buy it. So I started using my income tax to uh, help me get further in life rather than, you know what I'm saying, help me feel comfortable with life. You see what I'm saying? So this year I had like over $10,000, man. $10,000 that I used to get to Texas, furnish my apartment, uh, pay my car notes ahead of time, pay, my, uh, pay stuff down, pay people off and shit like that. And all this shit, as you can see in my videos, man, all that stuff, it, it helped me. It helped me get to the spot I'm at now. And I'm always looking to better myself, so I'm looking for the next step. And I think I found it. At least I'm going to try to at least go down this path. I mean, so it, I didn't really want to make a long video because it's already at the 10-minute mark, man. But I just want to show y'all that your boy picked up a few things. Give y'all a little update where I'm headed to. Uh, y'all stay tuned, man, for the next couple of videos. I'm pretty sure you're going to figure out where I'm going. But... With all that being said, man, like, subscribe, show your boy some love. I'm out here, Mike HTV.